Error 403 is a frustrating issue that many users encounter when trying to play videos on certain apps, especially on smart TVs, streaming devices, or modified applications. This error means that the request to access a video has been denied by the server, often due to authentication problems, region restrictions, or security measures. Some users have reported that after updating their app, they suddenly started getting this error, while others experienced it randomly, making it difficult to pinpoint the exact cause. One possible solution is to simply reboot the device. Many users found that after experiencing the error, a quick restart of their Fire TV, Chromecast, or Smart TV resolved the issue instantly. It may seem too simple, but sometimes a fresh reboot clears out temporary issues that are blocking access to videos. If rebooting doesn't work, clearing the app cache and data might help. Over time, apps store temporary files that can become corrupted or outdated, leading to issues like the 403 error. By going into the settings of your device, selecting the app, and clearing both cache and data, you force the app to reload everything fresh. This has helped some users regain access to their videos without further problems. For those still facing the error, uninstalling and reinstalling the app can be an effective fix. Sometimes, a faulty installation or a bug introduced in a new update can cause authentication issues. Completely removing the app and then downloading the latest version ensures that any corrupted files are replaced, giving the app a fresh start. Another fix that has worked for some users is switching to a different network or using a VPN. Sometimes, a particular IP address gets blocked or restricted by the server, leading to the 403 error. Changing your internet connection, such as switching from Wi-Fi to mobile data or using a VPN to route traffic through another location, might allow the app to function properly again. Some users found success by trying a beta or test version of the app. Developers often release test builds with fixes for known issues, including the 403 error. If the stable version isn't working, downloading the latest beta from the official source might provide a temporary or permanent fix until a stable update is released. Finally, if none of these solutions work, it's possible that the issue is on the server's end. Sometimes, service providers make changes that unintentionally affect access to videos. In such cases, waiting for an update or checking official forums for announcements may be the best option. Some users reported that after doing nothing for a few hours, the issue resolved itself, which suggests that the problem was external. If you're dealing with this error, try these steps one by one, and hopefully one of them will work for you. Let me know in the comments if you found another fix that worked. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech troubleshooting tips.